With the rear of our buggy pretty much complete, we'll carry on with the front end and although we've installed our arms and sway bar, it's time for the front spindles and hub carriers with the NB48 2.2 bag I. This bag will be similar to bag G which included the rear hubs and links, although with a couple of slight differences due to the steering on the front end, but after this bag we'll almost finished off the front end of the buggy. So with your grease and thread lock to hand, we're ready to get started. Ok we'll begin with our spindles and insert a flanged bearing to the front and a standard bearing into the rear. Repeat on the opposite side. Next we insert the pre-built universal drive shaft giving it a turn making sure it's completely free. After which we can drop on a 17mm wheel hex and insert the retaining pin taking care to ensure the flat portion is facing outwards so that it can be secured with a single 4mm set screw locking it into place. Remember to apply some thread lock to the set screw before you tighten down. Finally place the spindle arm on top of the spindle taking care to note the arm faces towards the drive shaft and secure with two 12mm button head screws, again going into plastic here so just until snug. Repeat the same steps for the opposite side and with that said our front CVAs and spindles are complete, both should turn completely freely with no binding whatsoever. We now need to attach our spindle carriers before we install onto the front end assembly. These are attached with pins that go into their respective sleeves. It's important to ensure you use the same colour pins and sleeves together. Stock position is silver up top, so insert the sleeve into the spindle and black down below. When it comes to the carrier itself, these sit on the opposite side to the spindle arm. Each carrier is conveniently labelled for the left and right side. So with the correct carrier in hand, place into position and this is secured with a pin from top and bottom. Notice each pin has a flat edge that needs to point outwards when installing so that they can be held in place with a single screw. So remembering that we used the silver sleeve up top, insert the pin and then the black just below before securing with a 5mm button head screw which will now lock the pins into place. Going into metal here so some thread lock is required. Again repeat the same process on the opposite side, preparing our left spindle and carrier assembly and ensuring both turn freely. At this point also check the orientation of parts and ensure the right and left spindles and carriers match. Now we're ready to get these onto the front assembly. Start by inserting a bushing into either side of the arm from the inner side before sliding in the first spindle and carrier assembly, taking care to ensure the dog bone is correctly positioned within the differential cup. Insert a spindle carrier hinge pin into either side of the arm and through the spindle carrier, ensuring the flat edge is facing outwards and secure both into place with 5mm button head screws, complete with thread lock on either side. That's one side complete. Repeat the entire process on the opposite arm, so bushings, Get the arm in place, pins and finally the 5mm button head screws locking the pins into place. The front end is really starting to take shape now, all that's left is to get these front camber links into position, although we need to build them first, so with a little grease on the threads, proceed to screw each turnbuckle into the rod end just like we constructed the rear, although these need to have a 37.75mm gap so try to be as precise as possible here. Also remember the notch faces left so when constructing that means the notch will face the angled rod end on one link and the straight rod end on the other. With both links created, insert a pivot ball into each rod end, very easy with the Techno Shock tool. We can now get these installed onto the main assembly. Note the angled rod end will attach to the carrier on both sides. We'll begin by inserting a single 22mm capid screw through the carrier, stock position being the centre hole, drop on an 8mm washer, followed by the camber link and secure into position with a single M3 flanged lock nut. The opposite end attaches to the shock tower, same procedure here too, so 22mm capid screw through the stock bottom hole, 8mm washer, link and secure with a flanged lock nut. 
Repeat on the opposite side with the final camber link. Again, remember notch goes to the left with both links. And with that said, we're done with this kit bag. A final quick check to ensure everything is nice and free, which it is. No reaming or anything else necessary. In typical Techno RC fashion, everything comes together with perfection. Nevertheless, both rear and front end are at the same stage now. Arms attached, hubs and drive shafts in place, camber links in place, and all nice and smooth. Although we need to carry on with a few extra parts to the front assembly with our next kit bag, in particular the steering assembly. <laughs>